Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Surfer. Surfer is a versatile gridding, contouring, and surface mapping software package. In this video, I will cover coordinate systems in Surfer. Assigning coordinate systems makes it possible to combine multiple map layers with different source coordinates into a single map, and makes it possible to reproject a map into a new coordinate system. In Surfer, there are two places you can have a coordinate system defined for the map layer and for the map frame. Defining a source coordinate system for the map layer will not change the values displaying on the map axes. It will just tell Surfer what these values are. Setting a target coordinate system for the map will likely change the values displaying on the axes, since it will convert each of the individual map layers to this one coordinate system for display. If the file used to create your map has an internal coordinate system defined, or has a coordinate system file like a PRJ or GSR2 file associated with it, the coordinate system will be loaded when the map is created. To see if a map layer has a coordinate system assigned, select the map layer in the Contents window. Click on the Coordinate System tab in the Properties window. If the name shows Unreferenced Local System, as it does here, there is not a coordinate system defined for the map layer. Since this map doesn't have a coordinate system defined, we will need to set one before we can change the coordinate system of the map frame. This source coordinate system is the coordinate system of the data in the grid file or data file. To set the coordinate system for the map layer, click the Set button in the Source Coordinate System section. In the Assign Coordinate System dialog, if you have a georeferencing file that you wish to load for this map, you can do so by clicking the Load From File button. Alternatively, you can manually set the coordinate system by choosing the appropriate system from the list. The XY coordinates from the data file for this post layer are in lat long degrees, so we will choose a lat long coordinate system. Click OK to assign this coordinate system to the values in your map layer. You can now see the coordinate system listed in the name field, and the values on the map axes are unchanged. If you want to export your map with the coordinate system information, combine multiple map layers with different coordinate systems into a single map frame, or change the coordinates of your map layer from one coordinate system to another, you can do so by changing the target coordinate system of the map frame. Select the map frame in the Contents window. In the Properties window, click on the Coordinate System tab. Click the Change button in the Target Coordinate System section. We see the same Assign Coordinate System dialog as we did when setting the source coordinate system of the map layer. Again, we can either load in a georeferencing file or manually choose a coordinate system from the list. Click OK to apply the coordinate system to the map frame. You can now see the coordinate system listed in the name field, and the values on the map axes are now changed to reflect the new coordinates. This does not change the source coordinate system of the map layer, since that refers to the data used to create the layer, and the data has not changed. Now that the coordinate system of the map is set, we can add additional layers in any coordinate system, and those layers will display in the target coordinate system of the map frame. Since this grid file has a georeferencing file with it, you can see the coordinate system for the map layer is automatically set to a UTM coordinate system, but the contours are correctly displaying on the map in the state plane feet target coordinate system. So the end result of this exercise is that the post map layer in a lat long coordinate system and the contours map layer in a UTM coordinate system have both been converted to display in a map frame with a state plane feet coordinate system. This concludes the video training for the coordinate systems in Surfer. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.